Right. Everything's working. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Alright. We are back. And I... <laughs> um, a wet start. Yeah. Uh, one driver less. Which is not the right. So, yeah. We are back. Get everyone in the correct Well, some more like behind the scene. Matador has been just gone far from the film making up, but um, anyone who's behind Ritz de Buffalo has uh, now been put in front of them because they're here. But uh, Belange is taking it a bit quicker than uh, how Mazapim wants to do it. So uh, he's either hurting himself here. Or hurting himself here because he's going to be sat on that grid for a long, long time. So um, it, it's interesting to see what he's doing here. He's raced up. Pardon? He's done this before. Yeah. Yeah. Race ahead of him. Yeah. Uh, maybe he's getting a feel for the track, but um, oh, Alpha and yeah, Pelecki have been disqualified from the session. Not the session, so the formation lap as well. Blue Lines might be getting some sort of recommend here. Yeah. Because obviously it's not. And um, I'm looking at the strategy that's been powered by AWS here. It's suggesting either a one stop onto the Inters again or a two stop oh, for it's, all it's Inters. It's not taking into account. It's not taking account of the game drive because obviously yeah. that's a customized session. You'll yeah. have you've got, one, you've got three slots you can put in. The first one is face, it's wet. Yeah, I'd say that one bit. slot is probably going to last around 5 minutes. Could be 5 to yeah. 20 minutes. Oh! And Andrea just smashing into the barrier trying to avoid uh, into period lock. Oh. And Papa Devil. Devil. Yeah, and Hybrid has... No, Papa Devil. They both collide, so they're Papa both... Devil's uh, is probably locked up, sort of, like that. Yeah, oh, I don't think so as well. The large out and position. Andrea and Pure Lord. How I saw it. I know that's him. And uh, Andrea as well. Yeah, this is a different formation now than to the one that you usually see in real life, where someone who's supposed to be 15. Oh, Trick Elk is spun. Oh, yes, he has. So, what's it going to affect the grid? Because now they're all lining up. Yeah, the blue launch is well, finally going to his good slot. Mm -hmm. A bit earlier than what everyone else was And uh, Andrada, he slowed down massively, slower than the Red Bull who spun on the Sector 3 <laughs> section there. Mazapin lines up, then Drew Loss, and then Aldi, then, then Fresh. And the rest of the grid are now ready here for five red lights at Singapore. Well. Well, it's going to be difficult with this wet start. It's very really yeah. difficult. Yeah. It's four lights, five lights, and away we go. And it's a very slow start, but that's my weave into the level of circuit. Oh, that's an average start. No one's had The Alpha Tauri! And the Alpha Tauri goes straight out to Yep, that's a. Go straight out to Papa Devils has spun in the background. The Alpha Tauri. Maldives. Now he's had contact with Nancy Martin. He shot down to P8. Oh, this is a huge crash. Ah. crash. This is a red ball. Plackey's out. Yep. Plackey. Plackey is Pulling. out. This must be a safety car, surely. Virtual. It's a virtual. It's a virtual. Interesting yeah. there. Now he got chomped at the start, bro. Yeah, got he got did. Ferrari with damage. P6 dead. It seemed like Mardi has damage. Viper. Um, yeah, they're all cloaked up here at the end of sector one under the VFC. You would think they would gap out a little bit. But an interesting start then to the Singapore Grand Prix. Perillo, he's lost some positions as well. He's down into P4 fresh, uh, up into P3. Wait, 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 Perillo's lost positions. Perillo's yeah. been like five places. Has he? I thought he was. Uh, I thought he was P2. That's true loss. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, Do I, you ever know sure to check the tie position? He's gained four places. Yeah, that's good then. That is good. Hybrid has gained a few as well. I think he started quite far down. He's up into P8, so he kept it nice and patient in that 
was like catastrophe, I think in the world that we'll call it. Um, Papa Double's got left for wing. Yeah, uh, he's one at the there. start. He's one at the start. I'm not sure. I mean, he locks up with the front wing, so you probably lock up with our front wing. Yeah, he's there you go, double lock up. up. Yep. His brake yeah. bias he doesn't is very he, he doesn't, he does, No, he, he doesn't use any assists. And that's the thing. Oh, that's good, then. At least he's looking to improve it. It's green no. flags racing, and here we go. Mazepin already pulled out a two second gap there from Drulos has mistimed the BSE here. He's got fresh all Oh, there's been a massive crash at the back! Oh, has it? There's been a back Matador, there's been Matador. Matador. Matador's in the barriers. Matador in the barriers. Drulos has got fresh all over his rear gearbox here in this one sector. They're Drulos. gonna have to work together. They can't afford to fight. There's people in the pits. People in the pits. Yeah. Obviously got damage. Yeah, uh, the Maldi's in the pits as well. As well. The inside each other because they're ghosting. Yeah, Pirlo goes uh, quite slow in the pit lane for some reason. We are expecting Papa Devils to pit, so much a door as well. Belange doesn't choose to pit. He must have had a pretty bad start, but KTM Viper has a time penalty. I'm not sure how big it is, but he does have one here uh, in the opening stages yeah. of this race. 2.8 seconds is now the gap between Mazepin and Drios. So Mazepin, having the pace in the wet here, can convert this to a victory. Obviously, I hate the commentators' curse because it's ruined people's days and I'm sometimes know what that oh, feeling yeah. is. But it happens so many times. Man. Yeah, it it's looking good so Both far. ways. Yeah. Oh, and oh, yeah, the flags uh, yeah. a Ferrari. It's the Andrado. Andrado, the new driver. Down into P10, he's going to be oh, dropping sorry, to Harry. P11 after Poonar passes him. And, uh, oh, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. But uh, his teammate losing time, but he's still in second. Fresh is on the back end of Drulos there. They seem to be trying to work together, but they just can't go past the flying Ferrari of Mazepin so far. Uh, at, at the early parts of this race, and there's yellow flags, it's Alpha, who has spun after the hairpin there. Not a good idea, I think he has wing damage. I guess he does, that right he does. Why he's, yeah. why he's right in play. Yeah, that's not great for him, he's going to be racing wheel to wheel with the with blue large, but he's going to have to back out that wing damage. Yeah. Just isn't going to get him from that right hander. Enough. Yeah, Portuguese GP win it. Is the Alpine driver. Five seconds is that gap now after lap three, even with that virtual safety car. That's huge! Mm. Like, even I could point be that like, concrete. That's insane. So clearly Drew Loss and Fresh are lacking here. I feel like Fresh has just better for, pace than Drew Loss. Just for, just for, just for a um, uh, comparison, I KZR is just on a 58. Fifty-eight, and the fastest lap. Fifty-eight. Well, Mazepin's on a fifty-five, so it's a couple seconds off the Drulos pace. Fifth, Drulos did a fifty-seven point eight. Yeah. Mazepin fifty-five point two. That's two point six in one lap. But Mazepin, he's put on the helmet today and he's put on game mode. He is getting on with it. Six seconds is now the gap, and we're not even done with lap three. How big is this gap yeah. going to get? This was the thing you should help. Oh, put it on the, ha the helmet. You should really be saying putting on a headset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> we try our best here, don't we? we? Try and get as real as possible in our little sim rigs or even some of the controllers. But um, yeah, once you put on that headset and you get loaded up and you hear oh, those game, that game music, you have to get in the zone. And this is what Mazepin has done. Six point two seconds and into sector three. Oh, Alpha's on the extreme wet tires. Uh, Alpha is on the uh, full wet tires there. He wants to get this track dry, I guess. Sentin has a three second time penalty for track limits. Raining. Yes, it has. Williams have not got it right then. There's quite the tires, but it stopped raining. They've got the strategy wrong. They thought it was going to rain harder, but it's completely stopped. You're trying to get those tyres cooled down, but it can't work. 7.5, 7.7 seconds now. Yeah, uh, uh, Drew lost pits, Drew lost pits. Yeah, has he done the right call here? I don't think he has. It looks too wet. It does look too wet. About three or four laps to get dry. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. 
and for two in Canada this week as well. Talk about two, three laps there. Soft tyres for Drew Loss. That's very interesting. Soft tyres are not available. Yeah, especially when it's lap four out of 31. It, if he wants to get the old man's he's going to have to do some tyre saving. That's strategy. I think from here might be the minimum. Mm. But it does give you that track position. Track position is pretty vital around here. It, it can be a DRS drain. As, um, uh, yeah, he had two weapon for the drives. But, um, Alpha Z, he does want to uh, get this track dry. He's doing everyone a favour. I think, I doubt he'll pit. It'll be losing him some time, and he does choose to pit. Interesting. When it go on to the slick tyres, I'll let you know. As he's on down now, 60 kilometers an hour down this pit lane. As uh, the Red Bull then the has retired. He's at the end Two of the second turn, it's a safety car. Oh, this helps Alpha quite a lot here, but he is putting on the Inters. It does help a lot of people, That's but... By the time I say cars, I know they definitely Yeah. Uh, it's hard to tell what bit, tire to put on, though. Do you go right, for the has, uh, I know, uh, I want to see some information on Ram. I know Ram is, yeah. uh, is uh, engineering. Because when you get to the engineering, it's very, very helpful. So yeah, get definitely. Get inside information, especially these people that are more experienced, say, so, hold on. It's going to dry in, probably by the end of the I've got to do some stuff. Yeah, that, that's what I've done. I, mean, you know, I, I would check on some mediums at this stage, because that's what worked for me. Like that. But See what I do? Well, obviously it worked for me, but it's in a hard. different way. Uh, it went from wet to... No, dry to wet, sorry. But I, in, at this stage, I would... Um, who's got the hearts? As Viper oh, sent Viper in. Viper and Smith are sent in. But Pyra chucks all the new self into us. IKZR goes for... The medium compound mm -hmm. and the large crystal hard, but it's a slow I stop here. Oh no, that was slow. Well, I think the mediums would be better. I think by the time you, by the time you've got both mediums, by the time you, you're going to be so much quicker. Mm -hmm. By the time you come to the pits, you'll be so much quicker than it is harder. Yeah. Be, oh, for, I'm the point of the set of softs on, we've got four and Drado, I was on the ball. That was Maldi, so mediums and Maldi. The last go on softs. Yeah. Yeah. Softs, he? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he is on softs. What does he go for? He goes to the softs. And uh, the reload here. Well, it's for the yellow Pirellis. So, Julos making a clumsy move there by picking too early. Not just not under the safety car, also too early. Uh, he's gone from P2 down to P10. P11? Oh no, P10, yeah. I thought he was behind Perillo there, but he's not. his teammate, Perillo. No. Perillo's teammate, sorry, out in front on the Inters. It looks like he wants to get to that pit lane, so does Fresh. They're quite rushing. Uh, Riding on board with uh, Mazepin here. It's dry. It is dry. So, yeah. whoever's pitted, like Viper, like Sentin, yeah. um, onto the slicks, has, is yeah, good move. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. yeah. But that was the risk. Do you pit early and you know risk it being a bit too a, wet on the yeah, start and then the crash out? There was, there, was, there, was no, there was no risk. It was yeah. going to be dry. It was yeah. going to be dry or dry. So that's plenty of now bits, and so does Fred. Let's see what tyres they go on to. It's hard for the fresh, and it's the. The hard oh, tire. So Incent in contact with pits of the medium compound tire there. So he's got a little bit more time, but it's his right to stop. As uh, KTM yeah. Viper does inherit the lead then, but on the hard, hard tire, this is the problem. This hard tire, it can probably do a race from here, but uh, it's just I, so I got soon. told they can do about 19 20 laps. 19 20? I'm not just sure. Interesting. So maybe it's a yeah. hard medium from here. Medium hard. Well, it, I mean, it, medium, 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 mediums could do about 100, about 30. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So it's, it's quite an obvious medium, medium strategy. Because the hard, the hard are probably 
good to see two and a half slower than mediums because that's the gap between that C4 and that C4 and C3 time. It's a gap of peak difference. So, it puts our square out too quickly, which makes the mediums the, the much more yeah. favoured tyre. Yeah, it is just that bang up middle tyre there. So, yeah. I think these guys will probably pit around that 30, uh, 18 or 19 yeah, or something like that. Teams, yeah. mediums. And then those hards will already be 13 laps old, and it's the compound harder. They'll be going four seconds a lap faster mm. as soon as they pit. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was, it was, it was tired. Like, it undercut is massive around here. It is quite it's, a, it's, it's all It's all it's, it's, it's obviously first of all a quite long lap. And, and obviously it's a very uh, mechanical grip sensitive track. Mm. You need a lot of mechanical grip around here, and that's the next time. So I, I did a lap on a, I it was on the softs, I was eating. I caught up somebody with by four seconds. Wow. To the point where I, I to the point where my fast lap went out the window because I caught him up too quickly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And, uh, well, there you go. Yeah. I, I gave, I gave, I gave him a, a five. I think to show if I need a five second gap, and that's all caught him up by in the last sector. I mean, I think I was. There's somebody that was in the pace too as well. Well, in the wet I was anyway. Yeah. So, quite easy. Especially if you got onto a softer tyre. Yeah. So, it's more. It could be even more of an impact on the cars. So, we'll see. I think. I think the struggle to the end. Being contention for winning Going by your logic, he's on the mediums, he's the highest car up here. Oh, has there been contact? There has been contact, I think. Who oh, knows? Um, yeah, very close. Oh, very close. Yeah. 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 Who launched broke a bit on the inside and it's going to break a bit. But, um, yeah, okay, the dark. I feel like he has a shot at the race win here. It, obviously, yeah, it's I hard to tell. I wouldn't have the helmet too. Yeah. I wouldn't have found Maldi though. Maybe now that can help. Mardi, yeah, like definitely. I feel, I feel Mardi. Anyone on the mediums at this stage, Scented, Kazadar, yeah. Mardi, um, Perillo, Matador, and Alpha are all in a shot here. But it's just whether they make the most out of what they've got at their hands. So, I... Mm, Sage Gardens, that, that's a bit ambitious. We have Alpha Z and Williams there. And uh, he's just coming from sector three now, and um, well, I think we're gonna have until next lap for it to come in. So um, yeah, buckle yeah, yourself in, get some popcorn because we've got a little yeah. while yet. Yeah, obviously it's a very long lap. It's quite easy, that's that. It's been three laps in the safety oh, car then. And it's in. And it's just, and it, it's that means it's three laps of safety car. So and Alpha's still, he's still two seconds behind. So this two means that Matador behind. and Alpha Z are probably not in contention because Alpha Z, he's not even done the first sector and he's, I think he's got some wind damage. He's going very slowly there, interestingly. But, um, I think Matador could possibly catch the back of it, maybe, because it's quite. They've given it quite a lot of time mm. for it to back the top. I think you get close, but I don't think you'll catch fully to it. Then again, that's not much of an issue anyway, because normally, because obviously the uh, obviously you want to call it dirty air effect. Um, yeah. Bunch of uh, spread the field oh, spread. That's what I'm looking for. Gone. gone. Viper's gone and he's won on his own! Oh, he's, 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 he's out of the race! That's it! He's gone! He's cold, this hard tyres! Yep, they did not and work! The the he was warming them and it just didn't work! With Alpha's yellow out flags, as well as yellow flag. Alpha's single, out as well. Yep. That, ooh, that was not a spin that you want to do while you're in the lead of a race, but as a pin now inherits that lead. Matador grows from the Yeah, you would think. Maybe. Well, at least a bit hesitant. But clearly, the last going from interesting. Hulon just gone wide to save that on the hard. Yeah, massive but pin now. Think... Has the lead just over half a second. You think that they would have more grip than you think they wouldn't spin. Yeah. Still, you know, a bit adjusted to the wet tyres. You think, okay, yeah. that's just more traction than the thought of it. But 
lovely flawed it. Yeah, he's just gone for it. He's gone. He's fought in his head. Let's get this gap now rather than push later. Our defense oh. is going to come That's not going to help us race. They never even matter been. He's had a huge spin there. Those tyres are not going to be happy. I can still see the temperatures there. They were just reaching over 100 C. Uh, degrees, but Mazepin, he's still getting the gap out. Hard tires. Yeah. It's a bit, a bit weird. But, um, he, he's trying to get this gap now, rather than later, which is fair oh. enough. But, KZR pushing hard on the mediums. This fight is a favourite to I got a feeling fresh that Mazepin is really rushing his turn to help each other. And also, it was the same as our turn when he is racing. Uh, I'll turn, I'll race them, right? Uh, yeah, three, normally, they, they tend to help each other, even if they're all on the podium, they'll still help each other. Yeah. And, uh, obviously, that's pin got away with it. He got lucky there by Lee Bonas and Lee's positions from the safety guard. Crucially, Lee's position to draw. Almost a second gap. He's almost broken away from Fresh, who, if he has the DRS, well, doesn't have the DRS, Kezadal is right there. On the mediums, he will be pushing very hard. He'll be, be fluff, frothing yeah. for that win. Yeah. He, he needs to get ahead of Mazepin as soon as possible. If he can get ahead of Mazepin as soon as possible, and then try and build a gap on those softer medium tyres. Mm. On your oh, flag, McLaren is hybrid. Yep. This is also a safety car. car. Now this helps Fresh and Mazepin. Massively, they can pit I mean, now for the mediums, or you can just use that as a tire saver. Yeah, it's either way, but then again, they'd be sitting ducks for you. Yeah, I, I, I would say, say that they should pit. I would pit if I was Rilas. Yeah. Rilas should pit. I don't see why you All the hard runners have to pit here. This is the only way that they're going to come back in this race, is for them to pit. But Kazadar, he's Maybe the medium runners can pit for the mediums or something? Possibly, but I'm not Three. sure. I, I'm not sure the hard runners should pit, see what I mean? Because the mediums are not going to do that. They're still going to get a bit soft even if they do with the mediums. The mediums are not going to do 22 laps. Yeah, they're not. I mean, the hards can barely do that, probably. Yeah, but they might just punch if you take them that long. As Pink as stays out. Fresh stays out. Fresh stays out. Kazadar fakes it. Kids are all staying out. And oh, Maldi pits. pits. Maldi pits. What time is he going to go on? Ram giving him some uh, some lecture here. Yeah. He's going to that tier one lecture. I wonder if he's going to tell him to go on to the hards. It is, uh, it is on to the hards. Change. And it's for a wing change. Wing change. When did he get that damage? Must be collision with a wall. Because while well, there's no grass maybe. in Singapore. At least on the circuit, so yeah, he lost some. I'd say it's got to be some grass in Singapore somewhere. <laughs> yeah, maybe out in the jungles somewhere, but not on the circuit. It's just... I think he's. I think, I think, it's, I think he's got how small Singapore is. Is it that small? Singapore is just basically a city. Wow. That's the whole the country, basically. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure Singapore is just the country. As we look around the circuit, there are it's like Monaco, trees, but it's so massive. Uh, it's, like, it's like Monaco, but like massive, I think. There are a couple of trees, so they're probably grass but not I'm pretty sure the whole country is just built. Yeah. I don't think it'd be far as trees. You can see, but... <laughs> oh, uh, you can see, yeah, going to the Singapore thing. What was the thing? Was, yeah. But yeah, that's interesting, though. Now, will Mazepin, this is the question here, what happened with Viper, is he going to do the same thing, or is he going to make sure, I, I'm certain that he's going to make sure that his rears are hot enough, but, it will be interesting to see what happens, let's see if he retires, and it's just some sort of massive coincidence here, whoever leads a half of the safety car, just spin from the hard dial. I don't know, it's not to lead the race. <laughs> I'm interested to see what the Maori goes in. Yeah. Maybe you would have to get some hearts, and then maybe you would have to set a move for it, then maybe get a shot to the end. Yeah. I don't um, think those hearts are the way to go. You've got I a bit of a marathon to go. If I, 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 I was Maori, I would. Yeah, I would go, if I was Maori, I would pit. I can't think of setting me because I know you have a fresh set anyway, because 
Yeah. And then Gold just covered his soft towards the end. It was and he's got a free space behind him. I, I, I think that's a long position. I don't see think, what I think it must end these. I um, think I put my hands up. I said R. I said R. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. At this rate, we've had two safety cars, one virtual safety car. <laughs> it's only lap 11, so we've got a marathon to go um, in terms of race distance. 11 drivers remain. 25 minutes. And yeah. No, the, st the streams are normally about, about an hour, about an hour. Oh, normally, I think they're normally around sort of five minutes of it. Yeah. This is really one five. And if this is going to be an hour and a half, it's going to be well, nearly around an hour and 50 minutes just with the race at home. They might qualify. <laughs> well, but like it's I said, uh, time. in this first safety car, buckle down, get your popcorn, sweet and salty, or plain, however you like it, get it in you, because we've got a while. We've got 20 laps till this end, and uh, the safety car should shortly be in this lap. We have quite a competitive it's only a second lap of the safety car. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah, they should they... come in this lap. So uh, those hard just catch ones, they got to yeah. get working because um, those hard, those hard, they don't like to warm up instantly like the mediums and the softs. That's bugging me actually. If I, if I was up to that amount, I'd, I'd honestly still stick to it's like a two soft drive. I just don't see the hards working. Mm. I see, I just see it being faster, getting onto another set of mediums. Yeah. And then just going soft to the end, and it would be so quick. Yeah, yeah. I was saying, love that race. But you can't really burn your softs out either, because those will last about five laps, maybe six if you really say that. Safety car in this lap, all the lights cut out, then on that beautiful racing green Aston Martin, and uh, it will be coming in this lap with Mazepin leading, fresh, um, rounding off the second place, and then uh, KZ, I'm sorry. Um, on the mediums, he's going to want to pounce here. He's got a huge opportunity to get in front of these hard ones and have a strategical masterclass uh, set for him. Well, but well, we will see in about three months' time. It's yep. probably about five hours. <laughs> well, but he's gone. Mazepin has gone. Does he spin? He no, he doesn't. No. He keeps it safe. And who, who, who does spin? It's Drillos. Who? Oh. And Pirillo! And Pirillo! And Drillos haven't spun. If this is another safety car, then <laughs> we're going to be... It is, oh, Drillos has crashed out trying to spin his car back around on the outside barrier. Oh, but it's Crashing no safety car so, so far. Fresh on. I think it's a bit too early. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 I think it's a bit too early for when the safety car has to come back out. Yeah. But it's half a second then down. between Fresh and Mazepin. Down to Temple. A large free second time penalty for the track limit abuse, then, because that's what the FIA do. You would send track limits in game time, well, you're going to lose some time at the end of it because they just want you to get gain an unfair advantage. But um, KZR here, he's struggling in the dirty air, he cannot get past. Fresh so far, all Mazepin, obviously not Mazepin, because he's behind the Alpine, he's going to get past that Alpine first. But Boulage, he's made a huge mistake there. He's now got Senton on the outside of him, on the left-hander, going through sector three. Senton doesn't go for it around the outside. This tip again, the switch back possibly. Not going to quite work. Boulage, he covers him off and Senton backs out of it. Well, he looks like he's going hard. Boulange just cut the corner. Oh, I know we're going to do them. Yeah. Senton's like weaving all over the place. He's like, I'll do that. Boulange is now missing apexes. It, he might be struggling on these hearts. Maybe this really isn't the tyre. I think he has wing damage. Yeah, he's okay, going to yeah. be at Mazepin 419 on those hard tyres. This is surely going to be a melding sentient. Oh, he has a five second penalty, penalty for speeding in that's the pit. That's his race over. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's well at this point. But a second gap then between Fresh and Mazepin. They're on the same tyre, equal car performance as well. So Fresh just struggling. Maybe it's not the setup that he wants. But um, KZR, 60-ish percent on that ERS. And he hasn't quite abused it yet to get a 
pass refresh. He's waiting for that DRS assistance and will probably gain you about 15-ish kilometers an hour. And for the people in the United Kingdom, probably around 8-ish, 7-8 miles an hour down the straight. Uh, maybe not down around here, but around most trials, it could be even 10 miles an hour. It is quite insane what that can do for you. It makes passes quite easy, uh, to say the least. But something that's not easy is for Fresh here. He's got a 1.3 second gap already to Mazepin. Mazepin, like the start of this race, is just getting the gap. Yeah, today he's just does it in the wet, does it in the dry, he's the Mr. Man, does it everywhere else, but KZR 3 second time penalty, not going to help him at all, he's going to have to try and stay away from his track limits, to stop him having a lower result than he wants here, but um, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8 seconds, this is the gap now between the top two, he's pushing, he is pushing, DRS enabled, and Mazepin is only a 10 down on his PB, which is the fastest lap currently. Okay, Zadar, let's see if he produces an attack on Fresh here. Yellow flags and his Boulange is straight ahead here in the final sector in that right hander. It can be quite easy to lock up there, but um, yeah, he just fell for it. Really far. Yeah, he has really yeah. far. So far out, but where don't you do the same thing? now looking to the outside. Ooh, Fresh just covering them off. That gets the switch back, though, of the dream from the outside. Clean this Is it going to make it work? No, he's going to go for another switch back. Doesn't get the run, however, and he's just going to have to stick behind it. But this is the problem. 2.2 seconds is the gap now. But Kezadar, with the DRS, with the overtake, with everything in his hand, just couldn't get past the track doesn't offer that much space, so you're going to have to work well with what you've got, basically. And some KZR looking for the toe down into Sector 3, don't quite get it. And he is going to be behind that hard runner, who is also behind another hard runner, who has pulled a gap of 2.5 seconds then alone. 2.6 is now the gap. If only this Mazepin is the Mazepin we had in real life, because this is just something special at this point. This is amazing. He's on the same tires as Fresh, and he's just pulling and pulling and pulling. Oh, quite just often. But yeah, it is confidence. But he has got KZR in third place on the mediums. He just is struggling to get past Fresh here. He's going to produce another attack, surely, and surely enough. Um, in this race, Maldi right behind the centre is probably going to produce an attack, but he is on low RS here. Yeah, as fresh here, he's well, defending aggressively to the right hand side of the circuit. Here comes Kedazar, then he's going to be ending off this fast sector and he's going to go around the outside. Oh, he's, he's crushed in the barrier. He's in the barrier. It's a massive crash. Huge crash. Well, that's there. That he's not going to be that happy. Might be fault there. I think that Prince is Fresh's fault. Squeezed in there. Yeah, he's, he's just squeezing like he's nothing there. Yeah. I I know. And Keita Dart did not have yet. Yeah, he didn't have much car long time in, but Fresh can't he's squeeze him into the yeah. like that. But um, Mardi, he's not going to be waiting like around coming into the old Singapore thing. And there's contact between the Alpine and the Aston Martin. He's going to he's got the bring gun. it around That's Maldi up into P2, that is. Because Fresh, Fresh has got wings damage. Wing damage. Is his teammate going to let him through? No, not quite yet. But surely he's going to let him through here. Team orders at um, Alpine here. He's going to give him the toe. Is he going to let him by? Yes, he does. Does he let by yeah. Sentin? No, he doesn't. This is strategically massive here for Alpine and for Aston Martin. The Aston Martin behind the Alpine. Yeah, maldi has got a bit lucky here. He uh, has. Now, hopefully now he's got a bit trapped position. He can try and release pull away. It's more yes, like a jump out. Andrade has in that second sector. Is that retirement? That's our eighth retirement this race. Another safety car. Ninth retirement. Oh. And there's another safety car. Oh, that that's safe helped fresh car. massively. I'm Charlie, as uh, a medium leads, and he's gonna come into the pits. Yeah. Interesting, is he oh, gonna uh, go for a medium and then a soft? Oh, fresh, a fresh, fresh gonna head of Maldi. Mal and <gasps> Maldi's Mal going around. Maldi is not pitting. Why didn't why did Maldi do that? Why didn't, why didn't Maldi just let fresh through and then go back out again? Yeah. Uh, Mazepin, however, on the uh, medium tyre, so does Fresh Scented, new, new medium, Kezadar, new medium, 
uh, Matador already on the medium, and I think he's get he's holding up KZR a bit there in the pit lane. But, Why um, did not Maldi just pit anyway? Why? Yeah, and Matador, the fact he was just behind front. him going to the pits. So how did Maldi get behind Maybe him in the pits? Strategical mess. No, you, you wouldn't put you wouldn't yeah. put somebody that has front wing damage ahead of somebody who doesn't. Who doesn't? Because the person behind doesn't will have a hold. Win. Maybe Maldi just wants to track position here, but. It's not going to help him because that gap, sure it's 12 seconds now, but it's going to evaporate in the matter of a couple of calls. No. I really don't get that. I, 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 don't, I don't get how Maldi was behind. It's what, how Maldi was already behind Fresh in the first Maybe place. Maybe he spun. Unless there was a Delta. Yeah. And then, obviously, and then, and then Fresh, fresh sped it into yeah. the pit. Obviously, no one because I think get away with by speeding gun. Yeah, into the pit lane because you're losing that time anyway. Yeah, so I wonder if that happened, and then obviously Maldi's going to try to dip in. No can pit here, and then Maldi realised Fresh is already in the pits, and he realised that, I mean, Maldi can't speed into the pit lane to get ahead of him. Yeah. Interesting, then. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit questionable. Maybe there's another safety car later on that's going to probably favour Maldi. Yeah. I don't know yet. I mean, there's only eight cars left. God knows what pump them. Yeah, e even if you retire from this stage in the race, you're scoring points because you're in that top ten. So, um, you can also get an extra point for that fast as well, of course. But I think... There's mediums now. There's mediums now. Compared to Maldi's highs, they're probably about two seconds. Yeah. Just, just two seconds alone. And Mazepin, in this mindset, <laughs> on the inters and the halves, as we've seen previous, he should theoretically fly past Maldi and just gain oh, the gap. by you will buy uh, about each of the circuit after the far finish room. Yeah. So then we're expecting the safety car to come in next lap and fresh pits again. Interesting. Maybe a little damage, maybe we'll change tyres. Maybe maybe. Mm. Oh, he's going to lose that couple of things anyway. Yeah. Well, Is it? The way he yeah, he did more damage. more damage. Interesting. And he's going on to the medium oh, tyre. He hasn't used the mediums yet, so he has to use Yeah. That's pretty low. Probably like Maldi or something like that, or KZR can't do that. Yeah. Ah, anyway. Neither the button ends, continues on commentating. Maldi leads the way. That's a good strategy. A very clumsy one to be made, I'm not sure how it happened. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to do the same car, but there's only eight cars left. Mm. Out of the 60 we've had today, it's reduced by half, so. I wonder if Levels would ever, ever catch up to a He was. Even with the safety cars, he still can't catch up. Oh, Papa Devils, yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, he's got some way to go. I've, I've seen, I've seen, I've, I've seen that door. Be like, but yeah. th this is the interesting thing. Papa Devils, I, I can see it on the dash here. He's using his overtake buttons <laughs> under the safety car. He never. He after after, after streaming and commentating the whole of tier three, he never takes that overtake off. Ah. Never takes it off. Interesting. And he um, uses no ABS, no track control. I, I, I remember watching uh, Netherlands season, uh, this season. Uh, it was dry qualifying and then it rained for like two minutes or something like that. He came out of the pits and he locked up into every single corner. You could physically get <laughs> him. That's mental. But, um... I was like, why are you out there taking a voice? He's just, he's like, he, he stands on the brakes and you go straight on. like. Yeah. You're gonna, make, you're gonna make the corner. Well then, this is the end of the safety car. The lap number 17 out of 31. Maldi leads on the hards with Mazepin on the mediums and everyone behind on the mediums but Matador, Perillo, uh, and that is the rest I of the grid. Be, I think Mazepin would be on Maldi by the exit of the Yeah, as it's Until green late. flag racing when here in Singapore. That door's had a poor start on those hards. Oh, Fresh is up the inside of Matador. Luckily, Matador's actually quite a clean driver. Oh. Uh, he knows what he's least doing, what he's doing. 
Oh, I think I should do that. Actually, I think I should do that. Okay. Oh, that's so close. Oh, the rear wing of Maldi. Gonna be abusing the RS down into the... Maldi's not. Yeah, Maldi's not using it. And now he is. Oh, so close. Will to racing there. Does Mazepin Mazepin fly with the outside? He does go for the outside. And then Will to Will still clean racing from the two drivers. And is this gonna be me and Regal X moment? And... Oh, he's gonna squeeze him. It is a bit of a squeeze, but he's still there. Oh, and he's going to stick there. it inside. He's yeah, gonna, oh, oh, that was Maldi. And he he's spun, and he's spun. He's not yeah, going to be able to with that. Maldi, no, Maldi was asking for that. Maldi yeah. took it back up the inside. He did. Putting the corner in the process. You hit that curb on the inside, and the car on the second place. You're going straight into the person that's on the yeah. outside. That was Maldi's fault. Maldi should have backed out there. He should have, indeed. And now, like, and now oh, I like to back up. He's hit the wall. He's hit the wall. This is all huge for the race leader. You have a second and a half gap there, and he's just bottled it now sent in sky sent in has the, the race lead with I don't Zadar. see any damage visually it looks fine it, he might have just locked up there but he's gone very wide there at that apex which is this whole chicane does he go wide under the first of two bridges he does go a little bit wider no. than normal but yeah um, I wonder if Maspin's got a bit of that like, sort of lime green damage where you can't see the visibility yeah. of the knees there it, it does seem to be there for him he still pushes on Mazepin, just fine for now. Yeah, it does seem to be fine. But um, one thing that I, I would suggest to the drivers is don't use your ERS because it's such high wing usage around here in terms of downforce. So just yeah, you don't want to use that it. Short break. Yeah, because the high downforce, you're braking less uh, on the power earlier because yeah. of the extra downforce. Yeah, you pay more speed for the corners. Oh, and it's not going to help and as well. The engine just requires more power because we're using the right downforce. Needs more power yeah. to produce down the straight, so it just naturally uses more. But Mazepin, oh, so naturally the using long, his yeah. grip here on the medium tyre, he's all over centred. Is he going to go for an attack soon? I do think so. Keza Garbo still struggling on the mediums. He seems to can't get past anyone today. Fresh, however, is pushing harder as well, so he's got some pressure from behind, but the pressure on his mind as well. To Try and get him as far forward as he can. Oh, what's happened to Matador? I'm actually even behind Papa Devils now. Yeah. Papa Devils almost hit the barriers. Oh! As Mazepin, he's a second up now in his class and best. Papa Devils locking up as usual. <laughs> Maldi's all the back of them now. On six lap older, medium hard tyres. Don't you rest yet? Is he going to drop the inside? Yes, he is. He's he's gonna... is. Oh, and he's turning on them there. Bit cheeky. We'll see if straight sail. Get the balls out. But, um. Other Devils. Now Maldi is. Fresh got penalty. And Maldi shot himself. I'm about to say, Maldi's going to be shitting himself being behind Papa Devils. Sorry for the language there. Maldi does it all the time anyway in tier 1 country. He swears all the bloody time. So, why not can't I? Uh, oh. Maldi does I've not like being next to Papa Devils. Sent him low on the RS. He's struggling to stay in front without abusing it. And Maspin's doing it as well. Maspin's using the puppet as well, which is obviously scaring him a little bit. Senton using more. He's going to have the DRS hit down this uh, first straight. It's already flashing. Surely Maspin has to fly past down, but he can't get the run. His wings are too uh, high. Too far back. Yeah, he just can't put one up the inside. Maybe he gets the run into this right. No. We have a bit of an invitation to like lunch to go up there. But, um, now he's got past the levels before even the DRS. Oh, that's now he's using the DRS to pull away. Not gonna uh, help his tyres. Lap 20 of 31 then. Eleven <laughs> laps remain then under the floodlights of Singapore. Who will come out on top at this rate? No, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know who at this rate. Couldn't. That's him. He hasn't got a penalty yet. Yeah. Not yet. But it's still a third of the race. It's still, yeah, it's, well, I'm, but most of all, I'm, I think so. He's got the highest bet. Oh, and it's, it's a wide there by the by the KZR. Mm. Oh, this gets the barrier kind of is out. I mean, it's the barrier's going to be wide. He's going to use that extra full room you have. Just he's on that overtake button every single time because look, look, if you run on board with Mazepin, he's Harvesting energy, but possibly not into this final corner, but into turn one, he should be yeah, harvesting. That, that, yeah, he's harvesting already. Really, there's only two really, there's only two places you've really been using the RS, or maybe three. Down the main, that's 
not fully straight, maybe, because it's quite a high speed corner at uh, the yeah. exit. Oh! Ooh, I'm fresh is out! out! Fresh is out! This is gonna affect our team. Scratch at turn three. Yeah. It was another safety car. It's another safety car. Wow. That, see what I mean? Anything can happen that's at Singapore. And sent oh, That's a very strange place to crash. And we're now down to seven drivers. <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I can't remember it now, where we had like, I think it was six finishes, wasn't it? I think it was, was it Netherlands? I think we had like, I can't remember what race it was now, we had six finishes or something like that. I can't remember what race it was. I think it might be Netherlands, or Monza, yeah. I can't remember. Well, it's running that sort of, that sort of, yeah, yeah. To find, I don't know. Um, this is my first time, of course, but, um, yeah, what a race it's been. Many retirements, <laughs> many lunges, many crashes as well. But, um, yeah. it started off in the wet, and, well, as the viewers can tell here, it's can we just, so can we just, can we, can we just, give, can we just say something that like, tier two mm. was wet for two thirds of the race, and we did not have a single safety. Wow. Well. And we had about six assignments as well, and it wasn't even like, alone in the virtual. I'm, I'm not sure whether it was a bit of a the ice uh, safe cover or not, but there's not a single safety. Car. How many crashes? There was about six assignments. So that was a massive crash in lap one. I even lifted off thinking it was going to be a safety car, and I was like, oh, no, it wasn't. Interesting. I did, I, I did, I ended up my car by two laps. <laughs> wow. And I had to, I, was, I had to do extreme fuel, fuel saving. saving yeah. Because there was no safety car. Yeah, you just might want to save it. I don't know if anyone's in the pit. Man's going to the pit. It's, it's going to dummy. Oh, look, KXZR. Oh, I don't see why not, because he's, he's got a 50 second gap. He it's could go to the though. mediums here and full push to the end. He's got no it's softs, softs. softs. It's softs. He, this might be an I mean, they could possibly it. But I don't yeah, think so. I, mean, I feel like this is he a doesn't, call I, from McLaren. He doesn't have, he doesn't have a fresh set of mediums. That's also a good point. He's already used both, he's, he's, he's both sets already. But he's he's also softs, pitted, they can't pitted, 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 Average pace, if yeah, you really save them, possibly heavy. seven. But looking at that lap count, it doesn't Medium look to good. Yep. Yeah. Medium to Melody. Yeah. Medium to Aston Martin. Five seconds. I think Papa. I, 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 I think Papa. I think Devils is now using his teammates for wings. <laughs> yeah, he's gone through a lot this race, hasn't he? It's going to be costing Aston a bit of money, but um. What have you got to do, I guess? I'm tempting next time he's going to come into the pits to change the front wing because he does need the front wing change. Where are the front wings going? Yeah. Well, at this point, you could call it an Aston Martin 1 2. You have the safety car in there and then Sky in P1, so sort of looks the same, but not quite. Could be. Yeah, but it's all the same time. It's, it's, it's still a Mercedes 1 2 because there'll probably be a few <laughs> Mercedes <laughs> engines in there. Yeah, yeah there, there is a Mark engine in that uh, safety car, Aston. <laughs> And there is a Merc engine in that F1 car, but um, that F1 car just F1. a bit faster. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I think all the people are pitted, the Papa Devils and Mel have gone to the mediums, I thought, and people are unkitted on softs. The softs are a bit quicker than the mediums, but it's not as big as the gap between the mediums and the hard. And if you really push on the softs, then. Well, they burn out, unfortunately. If you have, especially if you haven't turned those pressures down. Yeah, exactly. I, I think McLaren are really relying on KZR here just to get to the end. But if he want, if McLaren and him want to win this race, he's going to have to get the gap as big as possible. But even if he gets that gap, that penalty is going to be affecting him. As if he doesn't have that penalty. Yeah. Uh. In fact, is he open? He's in front of us. Yeah, he's off runs, we'll be hoping that the safety car stays out as long as we possibly can. Kirill off pressing quite hard, despite not having to go on the speed. Yeah. Uh, I'll say there's a chance to save fuel, but we've had plenty to save fuel. So, that was a long, very long safety car. Last door's going about two miles down to the pit lane. Why is it going so slow into the pit? Doesn't want to five it spends more time on the entry than it does in the pit lane itself. And why is he pitting anyway? He's got phone damage. Mm. Possibly. He hasn't. He's gone to another set of socks. Ah, yeah, and he's, he's taking a penalty. penalty. Smart move. 
but um, yeah. it wouldn't affect him because he'd still be getting points. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, I think well, I think we should give six points to the people in the top like three or something. Like that. Yeah. Because <laughs> the six points not even being used. Yeah. yeah. It's trying it out by twos. Actually, we could. Um, I think this would be the end of the safety bar because I'm not sure the has is pitted, but um, it did end. Who was it? I think it was. Uh, uh, I think so. I think so. So, we should end this in our caliber, so, um, get ready for the viewers. We're about to unfold. Oh, we've already gone, we've actually gone past the three sector line, yeah. and there isn't any siege car coming in, so it looks like it might be another lap. It might, but. Yeah, it's gonna be, an, it's gonna be another lap. Gonna it would have been caught cool by now. Yeah. It's, it would be, yeah, it would be called by now. Yeah. Normally, that when that sector 3 <laughs> line starts, that's when we tend to get it. What a chaotic race it's been, we've got to say. And, uh, nine times. Oh, that's just a bit of a Yeah. Yeah, nine more times. Those are lucky. Don't want to put up to that in case I get it wrong. Alpha, Viper, Hybrid, Jewelers. Large and Drada and Fresh on the times of this race. And of course, Matador, Pan Devils, Maldi, Carino, uh, Keza Dom, Seventh is the race leader. For the first time in this race, I think, actually. But um, he's yeah. got a charging Mazapin. Oh, Pan Devils. He's, think, he's thinking it's green flag racing, but it's not. Because he just went on absolute charge into turn one. Very, very powerful thing. Yeah. I didn't want to go too slow though. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you'll start getting get a penalty for doing so. Oh, then we do need to get a penalty in the flat. But the longer, it's the longer, it out, the longer it's out, the more it's helping me suffer. Yes. And the more it's helping Sent in the map as well. It's only Barilo and. Uh, well, Matador and Caitlin are on the sides, but yeah, I, uh, I, I couldn't even call him the winning race at this point. You can't call me. Yeah, like, any soft runners could die out, the medium tyres and heads yeah, could I, die I out. I reckon they'll die out too quick, in my opinion. So, I feel like they should go mediums. What? There's still, what, after this there'll be seven left to go, so it's medium if it's and do about. If, if the soft runners save it, they could make it. But it's going to be yeah. a lot of saving. Right. Sentin and Mazbin are going to be doing 15 laps by the end of this race on those tyres, because they don't count. It never counts the first lap on your tyres, so it says 7 laps, but actually 8 laps. Because they have to be 1 lap, they don't seem to count the first lap on your tyres. So those tyres are 8 laps old, so they'll be 15 laps by the end of their tyres. And that's, that's the point to the end of their lives. I like, reckon. So, Kate's on our just gets it done by the end of the Pulls away a gap. Yeah, and pulls just has enough tyre grip. Just save that's yeah. all that he needs to do. I think those softs and those mediums will probably die at similar stages, I think. Yeah. Well then, safety car on this lap then, so the fifth but, time this race will be... Four. Oh, four. Okay. Only third. Third? Really? Wow. Feels like it's been a lot more yeah, than that. But, Long laps around here. Yeah, it is. But yeah, I think... I think As... Oh, the sentence is coming. Quickly. Ready? No. No. He, he went... I think just everyone's just trying to catch up. Yeah. He wants to be as close to that safety car as he can. He wants to leave it as late as possible to go then. Sent in leads, Mazepin second, Kazakar third. That should run, rounding up the top three. Only Mazepin and Matador don't have penalties and sent in has gone there as we are going to resume to green flag raising all spins out of the final corner. And no, look terrible at the run that Mazepin gets out of the final corner. He's going to go wheel to wheel with the sent in here. They're going to go racing here and. Mazmin just backs out, but this helps out Kazan. Keep it clean, boys. Uh, yeah, keep it clean because that's what we love to see as uh, the the spectators. But Sentin, oh, and Sentin gets a penalty. It's, it's gone wide at turn four. Uh, help him. Kazan, he's on oh, the edge of the turn four. Mazepin. Is he going to jump off the inside? No, not quite. No US yet, so no close, no can't get close, to no extra Papa 10 miles an hour at speed. One thing to look out for is Matador. Matador never gets penalties. 
So this is what it's very it's very much all always seems to gain like, a lot of points. Yeah. Like these sort of situations where the light safety guard and you just end up gaining a lot of time. It's a good thing. But I think with Singapore he obviously pretty much have gone more than it is. That's been it's a bit wider than Sentin here. He wants to get the run down into second three. But it's not gonna quite work unless he goes for an absolute lunge. Doesn't go for that lunge. Kicks it off. Losing Tom crucially here. He it's a lot as close as he was at the start of So um interesting yeah. from the McLaren. Yeah, he's on his top so as a bit should be using that cab there as I looked from the back of the Aston Martin. And he's all over the back of him. I'm going to say sorry. Fenton. If Fenton and Mazepi don't fight it too hard and just stay like this mm. and use their DRS, and Mazepi, if Mazepi can't get past Fenton with DRS, then if it's all can't get past Mazepi on the DRS because they're both on the DRS. Yeah. So then it'll effectively block it off. Essentially, yeah. That's what's going to happen. I'm sorry for that, I got cold. Yeah, that's fine. Isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the season, like isn't it? It's the podium. It's oh, that and point that that going that straight into the toe. Yeah, he's using a lot of the ERS here. Yeah, the pair of them are. There's a center already, just like below 30% already. As all Mazepin, he's made a course into a mistake by Kezadar here. He's gone a little bit wider than normal. Half second is now the gap in this middle sector between the top two. Is the bar virtually wanting to get past it? Uh, there's five back to remain as we come through what would be the Singapore thing, as we mentioned before, but not any more. Coming over the tunnel in real life, fun fact. Oh, and he's gone for the dive bomb, oh, Pirillo! Oh, oh, and he's got the, the dive bomb on Pirillo oh, here. Squeeze, there's some psycho glitching going on I, I don't think that's a move that Marley should have gone for because now. Yeah, it's like one over a second, yeah. yeah. 1.6 seconds. Oh, it's the switch back. back there from Mediums versus the softs. It's clearly working for Maldi. Oh, but he's caught oh, him. And he's gone straight ahead. He's off. That's the huge Did moment Maldi, there. Did Maldi squeeze parallel as the corner bends I to the I think left. that was a bit of interesting world to one racing there. That's been surely got a uh, track the middle of there. Uh, so I'm looking on board with him. Half a second is now the gap. The DRS will now well, be enabled yeah. this lap. This is... Melody needs to catch up as quickly as possible he can try and not get pulled away, but then again, they should be covered too because obviously his engine has been a little bit slower on those two tires. Yeah. Kayser Darben, he can't really do anything. He's the third man uh, in this train. That's usually how it is the third man. He can't really do anything. Perillo, five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane, but. I was going to say my little fun fact, but Mondi and, um, who was that? The, per yeah, Perillo were racing on the but my fun fact of the day was that, um, if you do a gear shift over that bridge, your car just completely cuts off. It doesn't like it, because of the signals. So, um... Uh, well, I'm pretty sure they've fixed that. I, I, I think, if it's yeah. the case, I think, I think if that was the case, uh... It wouldn't be safe to drive, but that's yeah, what I've heard. Because and that's to he has to get past now. Yeah. Actually, no, Saint Ben's Sentinel already has a two penalties. And then McLaren's gone wide. Kate had asked for a moment there. And now he's got the ERS now. Casting the ERS is going to go for a move. No, right. Just going to put the pressure on there just to try and put him off. Try and, you know, force him to get the cut back. But um, it's kind of not working for him. And he's going very, very wide there on the wall and being up towards the shiny as they were before, but Kezadar, he's sort of a winner here, in a sense, because he's still no softs, and I'm sure he's still saving them. But Maldi, let's think Maldi here, he comes like a second and a half gap in the lap. He is pushing hard. Yeah, but now he's 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 in that he's in the dirty yeah. now after the cars ahead now. This is the problem. But obviously the ev everyone's got the ice in front of them, so yeah. it's gonna be difficult to do something. Unless somebody but upsets look, the train. Look at Sente. Harvesting through the corners, that's not good. I'm out, he's gone wide! Oh, oh man, that's close nice there. I think um, that's a bit more wide as well. I've got a warning. So Kez, Kezadar, um, it's going to be all, the, all over the back of him. He's going to be using the toe here as well. He's been using the yeah. ERS, he's flashing, he's flashing, he's flashing. And is he going to go to the outside? Yes, he is. And he's going to make that move stick for the race game. And sent it. Oh, he's, he's gone off. He's got rigged himself and he's gone off. Is he going to it's chuck it? It's too wide. 
It's too close to the house. Okay, so he's around the outside in sector two. Is he gonna stick this move up the inside? He is. He's got soft tires for the inside line. And now he's gonna make advantage. Yeah, Maldi is now coming up the inside. He's coming back around him. That's the smartest move that he can do. That's gonna keep his race. I was getting danger man flashbacks with that. But, um, sent him. Still moves the speed. But KZR is now in front of Mazepin, and he's only yeah, that's got Mazepin in front of him. That's a separate train now, that has. Yeah. KZR will pull away now, and Mazepin will fall back. Yeah. For a bit. Oh, I think that's sent him quite a bunch of anyway. Yeah, because he's never known that he has, isn't he? It's all now, you're coming through the snow section. Yeah. He's not been saving his time as well, has he? Uh, no, it's ours, it's ERS even. I'm sure he's going to save these tyres for him, because he's still on those medium tyres after about 10 or some laps, I think it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh no, so it's been to run about 6 laps into the safety car. That's a pass of happy doubles then, going for P5, but uh... Oh, they're drifting. Yeah, do it for the crowd. And it's coming down to <laughs> turn 1 here, and a case of us telling all that ERS, it's all the same ERS as sent in here, Mazepin, higher than the pair of them, but Maldi, yeah, he's significantly higher than them. Yeah, flags, cover devils. Uh, yeah. There he goes. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they've all got their UIS. Here comes KZR though, he's with the DRS, he's going to go to the outside. He was in the barrier last time they went around the outside, not in the barrier this time, but he's not into first base crucially. Those are the 25 points that you want from this race. Is he going to up the inside? It looks like he had the ball of it, but he just could have put it up there. It's a Mazepin. Ma Mazepin would think it's a disco right now with those lights flashing in front of him. <laughs> exactly, he's going to start getting some moons on. Um, and all the time podium if he comes out on top and to win but who knows uh, at this point who knows as KZR then he's gonna go for another attack down the second three but he can't because five times back and that would be a bit of a ridiculous move in my opinion. Now well, he's gonna have to make some moves soon if he wants to use that ERS as advantage he yeah. needs to get close to someone. He keeps oh, he keeps having really poor exits yeah. and it keeps hurting him because he can't make a move. Yeah and well, once we he's, come uh, to the apex of the penultimate lap of the race, so he's yeah, going to have to do laps something to get on that podium. I know Maldi likes to shoot himself a lot, but now he's up one at a time. <laughs> he might be doing it quite a bit at this stage of the race because he's got a lot of pressure on him. Sent him then, taking the shorter line to the line as Kezadar closing, closing, closing into tower one. Break so much later than Sentin there, closing the gap from five temps down to three at the end of that pit leg straight. And Sentin's lost it and he's out! Oh! He's out! And Maldi's hit for Maldi's hit for barriers, Maldi's hit for wing damage! Yeah! Oh, he's got a huge wing damage. There's sectors. He's got a certification as well. There's yellow flags every sector. And I told you. Oh, that happened! How? And Maldi, he's in a bit of a good fight here, he doesn't know what to do. He's not gaining. He's got full power, he's got ERS. I think Maldi, I think Maldi, I think Maldi's fuming. Yeah. I think he's absolutely fuming. Yeah, I don't blame him. You can't believe what's just happened. But, um, six races remain then in the Singapore Grand Prix. It goes from Centre to Mazepin, and they're still battling. Elbows are sharp as Maldi, race we'll race. have to go to, Maldi, we'll have to go to the end. Yeah. On those tyres, so, all that, all those people that were on the softer tyres, have our pressure on Mazepin and Sentin oh, have Mazepin. fret eyes and Sentin and Mazepin are still up there yeah. with no RS on worn ties and still now no longer under threat. But oh. I think Mazepin will still have this because he has one less penalty. I know that. Yeah. And I remember Sentin being two. Uh uh, well then, we're in sector three. The tension is high under the flatlights as um, just, well, they shine everywhere you go, don't they? Drivers have to be pinpoint precise to ignore it and spin it going over the track limits there again. But um, he has more EOS than Sentin out in front. He's going to surely get an attack down into sector two. But coming down this main street, look how much he is gaining. It's significant how much more power Sentin has, um, no, Mazepin has, sorry, over Sentin. And he's coming out of time three here, getting all the power nice and light, trying to get the run, maybe trying to build that gap so he doesn't get too close and make any contact with Sentin, but he's yeah, going to get the run He has. He's got the RS to do it. 
Panther. Fencing's run out. Tenton US is the US from that spin. Is he gonna he's going to breeze through now. He's going to go around the outside. Tenton has gone that defensive. Oh, this race he's going to... Oh, there's contact. Oh, why there's contact. Then he's going to have to go over track limits there. That's a pain. He's got a less penalty. Yeah. And I don't think uh, Centre's going to be too happy with that. But he's lost the rear. Oh, he's let him go. He's let him go. Respectful. On the final lap, though. That's crucial for this race win. And yeah, Centon really know. low on ERS here. The pair of them on really low ERS here. E ERS here. Can't talk. This is how tense it is uh, in the commentary box. But um, coming through then, he does he have wind damage possibly? I can't tell. But he's going to go for his final yeah. attack here. Down into sector three. Four attempts is now the gap. He's going to close the log. He's not going to go for it here, however. Ooh, had a little look. I don't think that's going to happen. But Sky Centin then holds the lead in this Singapore race. We thought Mazepin was tipped to win, but it's Golden uh, Aston yeah. Martin, it's Golden Green here at Singapore. An amazing race here. And Mazepin's at such extreme pace. Yeah, and he's my driver today, I think. But through the final quarter now, Sky He will win, that's the question. Yeah, will he win? It will, will, it will be Mazepin! It will be Mazepin! I did say he had a penalty. Yeah. And Does... now do you have to hold off for the podium with the bulk of the lead? So... Uh, I was trying to say earlier, um... I thought, would that McLaren, would that McLaren be ghosted if Maldi went for it? Would it have ghosted? I don't think it would have. As Maldi has a 5 second time penalty, there's, there's severe um... damage to Mazepin. Yeah, there, there, there must have been contact, there must have been contact then, I don't know if that was the case. Because I remember, I was on board of Maldi, Maldi sphered to the right, I think there must be some clip by Maldi, I think it's weird because Maldi hit him when he already lost the wheel, that's something I didn't get, and Maldi obviously you didn't sweep into the barriers, so yeah. that's really confusing, I don't know, I don't know how KZR retired, and I thought it was cross the line with their front wing, I uh, thought unfortunately that. not carrying on a trend. Uh, so then... <laughs> This is your race classification for finished yeah. drivers. It's Mazepin, yeah. Sky Centin, STB, Maldi, uh, Matador, and then Papa Devils rounds off yeah. that top five because that was the only finishers. We had a lot of retirements. Yeah. 11. That was, that, was, that was the oof Grand Prix, that was. <laughs> yeah, everyone died in the race. Anyway, we finally come to the end of the race. Uh, it's 67 minutes, this is how the stream has been, and that's just the race alone. <laughs> I mean, about at 60 minutes of that, it's probably the race. Yeah, I'd say. So we'll say, so. after we skip this podium, after this podium uh, celebration, let's we will see how long the race was. I'm going to say 62 minutes long. Wow. Well, wasn't that action packed? Okay. 62 minutes long? Yeah. <laughs> I was right. Yeah. I got it right. Well, okay. 16 minutes and 31 minutes long. A 62 minute race. So, oh we my going god. To get the top oh. three in the commentary box and have a little chat. We, uh, we will get Mal we will get Maldi in there. Oh, okay. uh, I'm not sure Mads Payne is getting to English. Ah, uh, uh, I see. Maldi, at least, anyway. Yeah. Um, at least for an interview to see what happened. I'm intrigued to see what knowing what happened in that crash. Yeah. Uh, what happened and what could have been done. Um, well. Maldi, can you include your audio for a quick interview? You did get the podium in the end, regardless, despite the ending there. Um, I mean, it looked like you're on board after the collision. You were, I think you must have been a bit fuming there at the end. I think you're looking for the race victory. I think from after that last safety car, just after those couple of collisions, just go through what went uh, in your race there. Um, no comment. <coughs> Any comment? Okay, fair enough. If uh, if that's if you have any other comments, then I don't see why I should force you to say anything else. But thank you. Anyway, you still got the you still got the podium in the day. So thank and you. you. Oh, it was a. Uh, I mean, it's all about the keeping as clean as possible. And Very bizarre race, but um, yeah, we'll move maybe. on. We'll move on to Japan and yeah, we we, 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 we will move on from that. Yeah, obviously tier three. It's obviously a very difficult race for the tier three drivers, but we will come back finally. Uh, it will be, we will be going to, I believe, USA for tier one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's correct. And then Japan and for then, tier two and yeah. And then Japan, yeah, Japan tier two and tier three. So we will see you then for next week for those races. Uh, should be hopefully a lot better racing than this. So we will be back. Uh, thank you and goodbye.